Today I'm going to show you how to get our little tiny six pound dog to stop pulling on the leash in just a matter of minutes. This is what it looks like. Right now we're on a slip lead with the perfect amount of leash for a little dog, just enough so that they're slack right here. That's all I'm doing. All I'm going to do is walk back and forth. Every time she pulls out in front of me, I'm going to bump this leash. I'm going to bump this leash. Good girl. And tell her to come back this way. Come here. Nope. Come here. Good girl. Nope. Nope. Right here. Good girl. No. No. Good girl. Good job. Right here. Little bumps. Good girl. Little bump right here. Nope. Nope. Good girl. So now I'm gonna switch her from a slip lead to this little tiny micro prong. And here's why. I'm gonna use both pieces of equipment in the same area. And for some dogs, this slip lead is plenty. But for a lot of dogs that have a habit of pulling and their mind is always somewhere else or they're constantly lunging, barking, and anxious, the slip lead isn't really gonna phase them. It's the equivalent, if you're sitting on your phone and you're emailing and you're focused on it, if I walk up to you and push you on the shoulder to get your attention, you might feel it, but if you're thinking of something else, you're not gonna turn around. But if I take my fingers and keep them straight and I just walk up and poke you in the ribs, it doesn't hurt, but it's gonna get your attention and you're gonna turn around and say, what? That's all I'm doing with this prong collar. I just wanna get her attention. Once I get it, now that's the training. Now I'm gonna say, hey, good job. That's what I'm looking for. Once I get my dog's attention, now I have the ability to build a relationship with them. Middle bump. Come here. Good girl. Right here. Nope. Middle bump. Good girl. Middle bump. Good girl. Right here. You got it. Nope. No. Okay, here we go. Middle bump. Nope, nope. Good girl. Little bump. Good girl. Right here. Here we go. Good girl. This is the most important part that so many people miss. I am going to give my dog all of me. I mean it when I say all of me, my whole entire body, all of my focus, all of my attention. I will break my back for my dog to get them to understand what I'm asking. I'm not going to just walk, walk, walk pop this leash and expect that that prong collar is gonna fix my dog. I'm building a relationship. I am using this tool to physically communicate with my dog. So you'll see in the video, as I'm walking, I've only got two fingers on this leash. I'm gonna bend over and I'm using it as a steering wheel. I'm gonna help guide her where I want her and then just give little taps to get her to focus on me. As soon as she does, that's where you hear that super annoying voice that says, good job, good job. And just like that, I start to build a relationship with her. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. Here we go. Good girl. Nope, 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 no, no. Good girl. Here we go. Good girl. I'm gonna walk around you. Good girl. Here we go. Little bump. Good girl. Come on, right here. I'm using two fingers on this leash and there's always slack. I'm not pulling tension on it. She's not pulling. When I make a turn, if she doesn't turn with me, I give her a little bump, let's go, and give her direction with the leash. My whole body comes down close to the ground so that I can give her direction. If I just stand up and turn, that's too much pressure for her. Good girl. And I want to make sure she turns into me, not away from me. Good girl. Come on. Yay. Good job, baby. Good job. Right here. Good girl, good job, good job. I'm gonna leave links to the tools I used in the description below. If this video was helpful for you, please like it, subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Remember, if you're working through some stuff or you're just getting geared up, one video is not gonna solve all your problems. Check out these next couple of videos, they'll help you out. 
If you need more help and you're in Arizona, I offer one-on-one -on -one appointments. And if you're not, I offer Zoom appointments. The link to that is also in the description. Remember guys, if you want a better dog, you've got to break your back and do the work. I'll see you in the next video.